Hello. In this video, I'm going to show you how to print from cling film. You might ask why. Um, the main reason is you don't need a press for it. Uh, it also has amazing qualities of flexibility and stretch, so you can distort your images and manipulate them, which is fun to do. Uh, the other thing that's quite handy is it doesn't reverse the image. So uh, if you're doing text, you, you'll, the print will be the same as your plate. Uh, so that can make some things easier. Uh, so this is really just a, a quick overview of the technique. For more information and more sort of in-depth explanation of how it works, have a look at the blog post. Now I want to wrinkle the cling film up on the ink so I'm not using the card handles because that would hold it flat. Uh, so I'm just deliberately scrunching it up and then as you peel it off you'll find it stretches out and you can lay it on your paper and you get a, an impression of the cling film wrinkles. If you repeat this with different coloured inks you can print them on top of each other on your print and you can get some great effects especially if you use a slightly transparent ink. Now the sheets of cling film make quite random edges but if you use a newspaper mask you can control the shape of your print. Once you get going you'll find you can print off just about everything at every stage of the process. So here I'm doing a ghost print off the uh, cling film I've just used to make the circle. Now the ink's still wet on this print so I've laid cling film over it and I'm taking a print off the print. It's lifted some of the ink off that original print and put it on the cling film. I think this is going to be much more interesting than that first print. Once you get going you can start experimenting with ways of getting ink onto the cling film. In this one I've used a raised rubber ring as a mask so it's made a white circle on the cling film. Now this is a collagraph plate, I'm just inking it up as relief. You could use any, any relief plate like lino or wood block. And I'm using the cardboard handles to make sure I keep this cling film really flat because I want to get an accurate print from it, not a distorted one this time. I'm using the same piece of cling film to do another print. So you can do this two or three times. Each time it gets slightly paler. If you ink the same plate up in different colours and get a clean sheet of cling film, you can print it on top of itself quite a few times. And you can try and match it up quite accurately or you can just slip it around and get some wild effects of uh, overprinting on top in different ways. I'm making a little plate using sticky back foam letters. Now if I've just printed these in the normal way, they'd come out in reverse. However, using cling film, you can get round that problem. So 
So not only are they the right way round, but you can see exactly where you're putting them on the background. If you'd like to find out more, have a look at the Cling Film post on the Curious Printmaker blog.